Welcome back to the Mascot Thunder 2 Best Sports Career Mode. Let's play Lace and Gentlemen. Right now, about to race 14 of 36. I'm going to Pocono Raceway in Long Pond, Pennsylvania for the running of the Pocono 500. And it's not like tangling the cord. Good lord. Alright. It's all good now. Um, so, anyway, Pocono 500 is going to be at the Tricky Triangle. And uh, last race was at Dover, and I was technically running on a bad engine. Just did not have pace at all. I was really disappointed by it, uh, but the reason being is because I had damaged the engine after that Charlotte wreck, and that was the only thing I could use. I only have 74k in the bank right now. Let me just show you what's going on right now. So, one more race for uh, repairing chassis number one. I still have to use chassis number two, unfortunately. Uh, engine number um, number one is fully repaired. Uh, I got six more races till engine number three is being built, and then repairing engine number two right now for one more race. And then I still have to use body number two, because body number one is still being repaired for one more race. And um, shop additions, uh, six more races until the fabrication shop comes in. So let's just head on to the track. I'm going to use chassis number two, unfortunately not good chassis, but... Then a uh, fresh engine, number one, and then going to do 86, uh, body number two, which is a car rating 52. Spare is one car rating better than uh, a Dover. Let's just get on to the race. I'm not, I'm not really looking forward to this race, honestly. I really don't know how I'm going to perform here. All right, so time to get underway and qualifying. Mark Martin's on the pole right now. Let's see what happens here qualifying. God, this corner, wow. Car got sideways on me going in the corner, messed up turn one pretty bad. We'll see how turn number two and three will be. I think turn number two is gonna be my worst corner. For a reason I have that feeling. Oh yeah, all right. This lap is definitely gonna be a throwaway. Damn, man. I told you, I, I called it that turn. Two was gonna be my worst corner. We'll see how turn three is gonna go. Probably will go well since it's a nice wide corner. Yeah, it does go well. All right, here we go. I know this lap time is gonna be thrown away. It's gonna be a bad lap time too. 5602. Alright, turn one was a little bit better than the first lap. Probably could have done it a little bit better, but I'll take it considering what uh, the first lap was. I'm gonna be careful in turn number two now. Oh, come on. No. I mean, better. A little bit better, but still not what I wanted, honestly. I'm gonna qualify last, I guarantee you. I'm going to qualify poorly. I'm not going to get my spot. Oh, come on, car. You can't be doing that. Son of a bitch. This is going to be a bad lap, too. It's going to be better than the first lap. Don't get me wrong. 54-39. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This race is going to be abysmal, too. Tricky triangle. This race is definitely going to be tricky for me. I just want to see how much slower I was compared to... Uh, 42nd because what I ran a 54 20 something come on don't tell me I'm the only one that ran a 54 thank god oh I ran a tenth slower whatever let's just get on to this race MRN is live in Pennsylvania today at the Pocono Raceway for the Pocono 500. What can we look for on this unusual track, Barney? Unique is definitely the word for this racetrack. First of all, there are only three corners, each of which has completely different banking, which also means there are three straightaways. And guess what? They're all different links. This is one tough racetrack to prepare a race car for. Jeff Green hasn't made much of a move in the points so far. Yeah, those guys have been working so hard this year. It's a shame it doesn't really show in points. Just seems they can't keep that car out of trouble on race day. Maybe their luck will change today. 
Terry Labonte has been called the Iceman because of his cool demeanor under pressure. But maybe the nickname Iron Man is more appropriate. You know, that's right. Labonte set a record for consecutive race starts with 655. That's over 20 years without missing a race. The 82 car really needs a good finish in this race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. And, of course, nobody wants to be on the bottom of that points list. He'll have to work extra hard to pick up spots. Not an easy task to dig yourself out of a hole in this series. Engines have fired and the cars are rolling off the road here at Pocono Raceway. Mark Martin and Tony Stewart's going to be on the front row. I start dead last. Let's just get this race underway here at Pocono Raceway. Got sideways right there, got in the side of Ken Schrader a bit. But I already picked up five spots since the drop of the green flag as we complete the first lap here. Oh, I didn't want Jeremy Mayfield to get a run on me there. Alright, Joseph, how about keep the car straight too? Why don't you? Oh, Ken Sh Oh, wow, car. And then the same time my car did that, I saw Ken Schrader get into the side of Greg Biffle. Damn, nice save by me too. I didn't expect the car to do that. But whatever. Fine. I got on the brakes a little late. Damn it. I got on the brakes a little bit late there, honestly. The 11 car is still there. Number 11 is still there. Oh, man. Come on. The 11 car is still there. Oh, man. I don't want to be on the outside lane here. This is another good track to use, like, some of the share draft. Because the long straightaways, it's a wide racetrack. Ah, oh, stop going sideways on the car. Wish the car wouldn't go sideways, though. Not bad corner there. Oh. Wow, look at the move I made here. Oh, don't get up into... Oh, damn it, you're still doing that, huh? Wow! That was really tight there. Woo! Three laps completed right now. Is that intense going into that corner or what? Man, just couldn't hold it. Didn't want to be on the outside lane, though. Just trying to use some of that share draft. Ah! Be careful. That's see, I told you. I said in qualifying, turn two is gonna be my worst corner, and it's showing. Highest position I got up to is 38th. Ooh, ooh. Didn't mean to get up in the Kyle there. Got up in there just a little bit. Let's 
see how efficient this share draft really works? Oh my god, if I could just stop sliding it going in the corner, that would be great. Man, this is not good. This, I mean, where I qualify... It doesn't matter what game, what NASCAR game it is. It seems like I always do terrible at Pocono, no matter where, what game it is. Oh, wow! But I get such a run in turn number two, though. I didn't want to go on the outside or get in the back of Jack Sprague. So I had to let him go. Oh, wow, I held it to the bottom there pretty good. Oh, nope. Jack Sprague, I don't think so. <laughs> I just basically cut him off. Oh, my God. Can I hold a line on the straightaway, please? Jesus, Joseph. You are bad. I know. Oh my god, just overdrive the corners. That's been my problem in this race too. I've just been overdriving the corner. I'm not really trying to. I feel like even I'm on the brakes early too, and yet I'm still overdriving the corner. I don't get it. Oh, damn it. Oh my god. I... I just get such a run in turn two, though. No. Don't get by me. Man, this is so frustrating. This really is frustrating. Just running back here. No pace at all. Oh my god, still was enough to get for Jack Sprague to get underneath me. Oh, and you know what? It could be the bad chassis I have too that I have no pace on. Oh, still on the outside of Jack Sprague. And me and Jack Sprague has just been battling together since what the last few laps I should say just seem like I can't get away from him right now and there he is again just me and Jack Sprague having a great battle Still there. Careful. <laughs> I'm trying to keep him behind me just forcing him all the way down there all right, a few drivers are pitting right now which is why I'm up in 32nd oh my god turn one I just overdrive okay. We're clear. Oh my god. It's just me and Jack Sprague right now. Ah, oh, come on, car, hang on. Man, I can't wait for Michigan. That's next race. Can't wait for that. Maybe I can actually have pace there. Might be time for a new left rear tire. Yeah. I'll probably pit this time by too. Got one down low. And there goes Jack Sprague again. Okay with the car? Oh, you know, I mean, I just wish I don't overdrive turn one. Something I would love to do. It's not allowing me to do that though. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm gonna pit this time by. <laughs> Woo! Oh, stay down. I am pitting now. Okay, we lost a spot. Okay, we're clear. Alright, that wasn't bad. Uh, I don't want to lose another car. I'm fine with this. 17.12. Let's see if it is going to be a 17.12. Oh. 
crew telling me it'll only be a four tire stop. They're also only going to put in one and a half cans of fuel. So a little strategy on this end of pit road. All right, that pit stop was a little faster than the estimated time. I think that was a 16.6, which was supposed to be a 17.2. So my pit crew did its job. I like that. Probably could have loosened up the car a bit, but I'm a little worried about turn two with loosening up the car. So I'm back on the racetrack. Not a bad pit stop. Just a little bit quicker, about six tenths quicker. So good shit with my pit crew. Oh. Look how much faster I'm going to be than these guys because I'm on fresh tires. And I'm going to be faster than the leaders right now. Obviously because of the fresh tires. Number 12 is outside. So I'm a lap down right now, but that's okay. You're clear. Alright. Alrighty. That was a halfway mark. All right, Jeff Burton. I don't know where you're gonna go. Good job. The 12 car is outside. I'm actually probably gonna come out ahead of uh, uh no, Greg Biffle got around me. I was about to say Biff, like I'm gonna come out close to the Biffle. I mean, I wasn't this close to Biffle before. I'm not. Oh well, I still slammed in the back of Biffle. I was just about to say I'm not gonna make it. Well, all right, I guess we're gonna make it three wide. Whatever. <laughs> I wasn't planning to, but whatevs. Oh, stop sliding. The leaders are coming into pit. Right, some more leaders are coming down pit road now. So we're gonna see where I'm gonna be after the cycle green flag pit stops. Number 16 is gaining on you. I'm actually going to be at positions higher. Oh my god, if I just stop sliding the car. At least my pit crew did something good. Now, David Green's going to have a couple lap fresher tires than me, so he's obviously going to be a little bit quicker than me. Number 16 is still there. Oh my god. If I could just stop doing that with the car, like sliding in the corner, that would be really nice. Hold your line. You're still there. Oh, it's so frustrating when that happens. Still there. Turn two and turn three is where I could get runs on these guys, but turn one I just can't. Oh my gosh, Biffle. Okay, we're clear. Well, I'm not gonna get my sponsor objective, unfortunately. Alright, so I'm not lapped down anymore. He said number 45 was down low when it's the 37 car. Unbelievable. So I'm I'm a couple positions higher than what I was, so I mean I'll give it an A plus on my pit crew for that. Oh my god. Oh my god, I got in the back of him again. I'm really not trying to get in the back of anyone. I'm just, I just get such these runs going into turn two and sometimes coming off turn two. Ah, oh, son of a bitch, would you quit doing that car? Oh my god. Uh, David Green and Greg Biffle is going to pull away now. If the car would stop sliding, that would be great. Oh, look at that. I could have picked up another position on Jeff Green there. But no. Now I gotta see if I can hold these guys off behind me. Oh, my God. I just would love to stop sliding. That's my, that's my only issue with this race right now is that I'm sliding the car in the course. I feel like I break early too, so I don't do that, and I don't overdrive the corners, but it still does that. I don't know what does that, though. I mean, this is going to be another terrible race for me, don't get me wrong. I really would love to repair chassis. the uh, chassis. It's about time. 
I'm just looking forward to Michigan at this point. Oh, come on. Car with turn, please. There goes Kyle Petty around me. I got Casey Mears behind me. Oh my god, damn it! This car! The problem is that it slides! It didn't slide real bad that time, but it was enough for me to go in the wall. It's just so frustrating, I mean... Oh my god, it doesn't matter what NASCAR game it is. I'm always bad at Pocono no matter what. This triangle is tricky for me. It's too tricky for me. Five more long laps, oh my gosh. I would love this race to be over, honestly. I mean, it was abysmal at Dover, it's abysmal here. Okay, we lost a spot. Look at that, I'm back to Foy first. Even worse than before I pitted. This is unbelievable. What this car is doing to me. I just don't like this car. And who's blowing the motor? That is Jimmy Johnson. And I just got in the back of Christopher the Pauly. The tire's in good shape to be fast, buddy. The 43 car is still there. Look at that. Turn two, I feel like I do so well. Number 43 is still there. We're up another position. Clear on both sides. I'm looking forward to the fabrication shop coming in. I can build a new uh, chassis. Boy, do you see how I just... Squeeze by Casey Mears like that before the go. So it's a possibility I could still finish 40th or above. Oh my gosh, Christopher the Poly. Well, I'm in rivals with him now. Damn it! Even though he's the one that hit me in the back, how's that my fault? I don't see how that's my fault, but whatever. Oh my god. The 43 car is going for the box. <laughs> Number 43 is outside. If you let him by, he's gonna make Oh my god. You're clear. I'm just trying to see if I can reach this rival with him. Shut up. Dude, Chief. I'm not pitting. I hate turn one. Turn one, I just overdrive the corner so bad. The 41 car is still there. Oh my god. Oh, well. again. oh, Jack Sprague, not you again. Fucking hell! What the? I'm magnetizing to oh, Jack Sprague. Yep, he's right with me. What the hell was that corner, Joseph? You dumb idiot. Good lord, I am terrible. And the car slides again. I didn't realize how bad this I was going to do in this career mode, but I'm doing horrible. And now Jack Sprague's my rival. He's going to make things rough on me. Two to go. Just never realized how bad I was going to this career, how difficult this career mode was going to be. He's not too happy with you. The leader. At least the leaders on the white fly. However, I still got two more long laps to go. Oh, come on. That's no way. Look, sometimes the car don't slide. Sometimes I break where I normally do break and the car slides. Don't understand that at all. I'm in the wall again, oh my gosh. Take a look at the fuel gauge. Okay, leave me alone. <sighs> Alright, one more long lap to go. I don't even know who won this race, nor do I care right now. I it's just you know, it's just disappointing where this career mode is going for me. Oh my god, I mean, that, that, that's my point right there. Where is this career mode going for me? Oh my god. 
I just want a good race. I mean, what? I mean, Take care of those it was a areas. good race for me at Talladega. It was a good race for me at California Speedway. It was a good race for me at Charlotte. I hope Michigan perform. I perform well because I did well at California Speedway. Hopefully, Michigan can show how good I am. Looks like Dale Knight Jr. was the winner. Here at Pocono, I'm going to finish 41st. At least I'm going to finish better than what I qualified, but still abysmal. Gosh, I am awful. I am just awful. I, I I'm I'm so stressed out about this career mode. I really there very many lead changes. Well, to be honest. <sighs> oh my God. Only get. Only get 64k. Gosh, damn it. Oh my God. I just don't want this race anymore. I don't I don't. I just. I just want better races to happen for me. I didn't realize how hard this career mode was going to be. It's really hard. I mean, I have it on the highest difficulty, don't get me wrong, but boy. I mean, it is challenging. Yeah, I'm really going to... Let me see. How much is it, though? See? I feel like it's too much. I feel like I should just only repair right now. I think that's the best thing for me to do. At least, uh, engine number two is done being repaired. I need to fix the body as well. See, it's just too much money. I'm just, I'd be safe just repairing right now. I really don't have to repair the engine, uh, engine number one right now. Oh my god, and what, we got... Five more races till the fabrication shop comes in. That's whatever. Alright guys, next race at Michigan. Hopefully it'll be definitely better for the Sirius 400. I'll just see you at Michigan.